Taurus. They can't ignore us, baby. They sure won't boo. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds. Terror. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of November. Make it a month to remember with a little bit of Thanksgiving festivities. Hello, baby. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you who has clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to this video. Shout out to everyone that um, has shown any type of love and support at any point of time. If you want to show love and support, the best way to do that is by telling a friend to come and check me out and hitting the like and subscribe button. If you would like to book a personal or private reading with me, only thing you need to do is check out the description of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my pricing list. Um, I do my video readings on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, we utilize Google Hangouts. It's a free, easy app to download. Only thing you got to do is exchange emails with me. So here's mine. It's scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you need to use um, uh, Google Hangouts so that we can do the readings, just shoot me an email. And we'll get it all going for you. So Taurus, you already know how we do. I hope y'all been doing good, boo. We're going to give praises and thanks to the creator, praises and thanks to Father God, to the universe for every single thing that we have. So bow your heads with me and shalala, let's give the Lord praise, Father God. Amen. So Father, thank you so much for just touching down and showing all around in our life right now and inside and towards Father God. They cannot ignore us right now. We are loud and proud. We stand in stone strong and tall and we are busting through the door father god i mean we are in full forward motion father god we are not letting nothing step in our way we are not we are in the most important thing we are not trying to step in our own way father god that's why we are just praying to you and we're just thanking you for just gathering us father god and collecting us and propelling us forward father god in faith father god we thank you so much for just being in this place father god and just, you know, sharing your space with us. Um, we, um, hmm. I wanted to say um, something about you taking precedence in our life. And then my, my mind just went blank for a minute. So I'm just going to wrap this up. Father God, just give us guidance for the sign of Taurus. Uh, thank you so much for our future steps forward and all the blessings laid on our footstep in our pathway in the name of jesus amen Woo, child i ain't never felt my mind go blank like that ever like what the heck was that about it was just like my whole mind went quiet bruh what the heck was that about Okay, and then like my eyes is going right here on this. It says good luck wishes. Elephants are strong, loyal, and patient animals that symbolize good luck, protection, and blessings upon new ventures. Wear this treasure embracing the spirit of the elephant and trust the, in your fate and your own good future. I don't know, y'all need to embrace some elephant energy right now because my eyes would not like go off of that. Off of where? It's like it, my eyes would not go off of where. So I feel like right now you guys need to wear a symbolism, something that symbolizes like your strength right now, how smart you are. Because elephants, they're big, they're strong, they're smart. Like they said, they're loyal strong and patience and they're animals that symbolize good luck and protection blessings upon new ventures so you guys are going on a new ventures and god is wishing you good luck remember who you are all right taurus november it's going to be a month to remember baby i'm definitely <laughs> You guys are about to make some moves, uh, major moves, major moves where people can see your footprints. So, 
I hope the world's getting ready. Let's see what the heck the Taurus is up to. <laughs> what are y'all up to? Oh, boy. Oh, y'all just said, yeah, I'm about to cement my foot in the dough. What? You about to cement your foot in the dough. Yes. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing, like, literally, they're saying that they're going to cement their foot in the door. It's like some fresh cement or something like that. And it's walking through some doorway of some new path some new venture and it's like literally as everyone walks through this path they have to walk over Taurus's imp like Taurus was the first one to walk through this door you know what I'm saying so it's like everyone else is behind me I was first okay ooh ooh Who booty is it? Who booty is it? Who booty is it? Who booty is it? Who sing that song? Why did that just pop in my head? Who booty is it? Really? Oh my gosh. Who booty is it, Taurus? Oh, Wowzers. Wowzers. Hold on. Oh, I'm missing a card, honey. Tell me some who booty is it? Listen, listen. So this. <laughs> So, Russ, listen, y'all ain't come to play today, okay? So, I'm about to say who booty is. I'm going fuck y'all up. Ooh. So, Russ. Ew, for Ew. Ew. Who booty, who booty, who booty is it? <laughs> is that what I had to name this show? Who booty is it? <laughs> Ooh, y'all ain't shit. Who booty is it? Yes, tell Taurus who booty is it. They want to know. Is it mine? What? I'm about to put some claim on it. I'm about to put my name on it. Tattoo my name on it so I know it's real. Boo! Who booty is it? Mm, mm, mm. Who booty is it? Whoo, child. I'm going to hurry up and get these cards out. Y'all got <laughs> I have never, of never, ever had who booty is it pop up in me. I have never. Only a tourist. Because y'all be on jokes, you know. Y'all be playing too much. Who booty is it? Okay, let's. Woo, clarify. To the right and to the left of me. Only bring out the best of me. God, you know the recipe. <laughs> Smoking a little Cecily. <laughs> Y'all know I got them balls. <laughs> Y'all, let me stop. I'm sorry. Smoking a little Cecilia. When the last time y'all heard that? This must be some old head smoking some sass. Ah. A little Cecilia, little chopping task. Little Hawaiian bread, little white widow, okay. some little sour D, little blueberry. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. Y'all, what? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the tower moment, the King of Cups in the reverse. Oh, you ain't. Oh, mm. so you just wanted to show your whole hand. You like I ain't, I, I ain't trying to hide my hand. Okay, I ain't trying to hide my hand. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hangman in the reverse. So you just hanging around. You just like you just <laughs> exactly. A towel moment. Look, someone just said, look, bitch, you wanted to get the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about it. Um, I'm so sorry about it. Please go get you a job or go find some business about yourself. You've been hanging around too fucking long. Too long. Like, listen, we allowed you to sit here and chill out a little bit so you could gather yourself so you can see things a different way. But you took that as a reason for you to be extra laxy days cool, okay? Like, you was acting real crazy cool right now. Get your ass the fuck up. Okay, so something happened very abruptly. Okay, <laughs> so.
something happy very abruptly, Taurus. I don't know if it's Taurus, if y'all dealing with a goddamn water sign. Um, well, yeah, this motherfucker is emotions is all frazzled right now because they were laying around doing nothing, and it was like the only reason why. You were in this hangman situation. It's for you to see things from a different angle so that you can get down off your old bullshit and pick yourself up. But that wasn't what you were doing. You just took that as a reason to just lay and chill and just marinate. No, we not marinating. Get the no. Fuck. No. Hell no. So something had to happen to whoever this person is. I don't know if this is the Taurus and the King of Cups energy. If this is a male energy that's just not sure of itself. That's not confident. That's why he wasn't moving. Like, I don't know. This, I feel like this is, this has something to do with some type of, um, accolades and job skills or, or something. Because the, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is like, they, they're not successful in any of their type of financial endeavors because it's like they may have lack of skills they may just be lazy like they're never on time always just land lounging around scruffing around like they may just not even just be applying yourself you know like literally not applying yourself at all and that's why you're not getting any results and people feel like you're just hanging around and that's why they had to pull you know Pull that shit up from up under you. Like, no, you too comfortable, bruh. Fuck out of here. Like, don't nobody care about you not being confident to move. Like, you listen, you need to get your emotions together. I, I don't know what knocked this person's confidence off. But whoever it is, it, like, these people don't give a fuck. I don't care. Get up. The fuck? Nobody want to hear that shit? Like, you a man. Act like a man. Like, stop. Nobody want to hear that shit. Oh, God, why y'all got so many cards, Taurus? Like, I but I got to read this because, oh, uh, y'all got so many cards. Jeez. Y'all just talking and crip walking today. What the? Whoo. And I know y'all better not be asking nobody who booty is this. And you ain't trying to pick up and act like you trying to do nothing about. No. No. What the Or some of, look. Somebody just came and wrecked somebody's shop. That's all I'm saying. Like, someone thought shit was cute, bitch. No. <laughs> the fuck? This nigga ain't shit. He lazy. He a bum. Okay? So, I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you, bitch. Let me motherfucker pull um, the, 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 the fucking wool back from over your eyes, bitch. Bitch, you been sleeping. I don't know what the fuck you been seeing, bitch. This is who this nigga it really is. The fuck? This nigga don't love you. This nigga is what? What? <laughs> I feel like some little young Joan just came and was like, bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> and you was motherfucking right. Yeah, you right. The fuck? I don't know why you ain't see it, you old bitch. The fuck you can't see this nigga's a fucking bum. Bitch, I'm young and I can see that shit. Get this shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, young. <laughs> Holy moly donut shop. Okay, I already know that. Let's get into it, you guys. Taurus, because y'all already been talking too much. We ain't even really get into the general energy yet, y'all. Let's see who booty is it there. Oh. <laughs> hey, father. Brother. Brother. How much of the ganja tree was you smoking? Like, you... Because wasn't I naming a whole bunch of fucking... Oh... <laughs> I want to say drugs, but I really don't feel like marijuana is drugs. But I guess it is, because if you're looking at it in the grand scheme of things, my nigga, that's why you just lounging around, you not doing nothing, you not going nowhere. Like, whoever this is, is big high. Big high. Like, bruh, like, you is not passing no drug tests. Like, you not even getting up to do Nathan, nothing, Nathaniel Nansford. You are doing nada with your life. You are not... You're not heeding any, like, you just, I feel like someone is on drugs. <laughs> like, you're on drugs. You are too high to apply, baby. Too high to apply. Like, whoever this is, is real stuck. Very slow. Um, like I said, just hanging around. And I'm serious down here, like... Someone had to fucking, like, abruptly 
make this person i don't know if like the tower moment is something coming that completely throw you off guard like i don't know if someone's putting you the fuck out because you won't get no job and you sitting there high as fuck like you normally be sitting there high looking stupid that's why these people putting you the fuck out mo get the fuck out fuck out okay I'm tired of your bullshit. You not bringing no money in. You just laying around. You eating all our food. Look, what, what is you doing? What is you doing? Look, you won't even come in here and beat none of these pots and pans. Don't come in this bitch, wash some dishes, do something of worth to show your keep here. I mean, where, where's your money? All your money. That's why, listen, you want to know why shit is just like abruptly changing and shit is because you're not bringing in any money all your money is going to feed in your fucking high mo like for real for real like this is like i don't know if someone's getting high for the fuck's sake of it or just <clears throat> Ooh, chiseled chiseled honey you is too high to apply and that's 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 basically where it's Boiling down, you too high to apply, so you're not about to lay around this motherfucker and not do shit with yourself. I'm so sorry about it. Look, the rosemary, the coriandra of air. Do you understand? The page of air. Go and look for a fucking job. Do you see how he's like, go? Go. Go and look for a fucking job, please. You understand? You see them, you see the sights in the back? You see that shit? Cut that dick. Look, they, look, look. Here's something for you. So that you can have some protection while you go upon your way. Go and search for yourself. Like seriously. You see the rake, the scythe in the back. I really do feel like someone is being told off and cut out. You know, like the coriander of air. That's like the page of swords. That's like, you know. Someone wants you to go and, and, and investigate and, and go find yourself. Listen, do you see how the wings is right there? Like, you need to go find yourself and go fly and go. Because you're too immature. It's like you immature. You're not doing anything with yourself. You know? I feel like someone is being told off. It's being told off. And, and go. You know what I'm saying? Go. Let me tell y'all what rosemary means. Uh... Let me see if I can look up real quick what rosemary is used for. It's right here. Rosemary is widely thought as a powerful guardian and to give women power. Therefore, it is used by many people to ward off evil. Listen, whoever this female is, listen, is to ward off evil. Get the fuck, okay? Your bad luck. <laughs> I'm so serious about it. It's used to ward off evil in the home and bringing good luck in family matters. Again, I'm serious. This is like, I, I really do feel like this is someone. Seriously. <laughs> oh, it says, um, for this purpose, folks ever plant the sky blue flower shrub in their front door or by their front door. Or they tie it in a conjure bag with dry rosemary leaves um, over lentil. Anyway, I don't feel like that. It's for purification of home. So I really do feel like someone is trying to purify their home. And if someone that's high on drugs is getting kicked out of a fucking home. Because that's the only way that they're going to grow up and mature and actually go and search go and search for their self, you know, to go find their self, to go, you know, deeper and look within and pull their self out of whatever the fuck this is because the more and more I allow you to just hang around and not do shit with yourself, you're not going to school, you're not working, you're not doing shit, you're just lounging around with this hangman. You ain't learning shit. You haven't done shit different. You see what I'm saying? That's why this tower moment came. You understand? And I know you're going to be upset about it. And I know you probably not going to like me because this is not what you thought was going to be dealt to you. But if, 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 if I did not abruptly put you out, cut you loose and tell you to go, you would have sat around here and like really become a full drug addict. Like I really do feel like someone is... No, it's like you just no, no, no. What is this? A moment's regret. 
it's like you could have done something productive with yourself. You really could. All this time that you've been laying around here with this Knight of Pentacles in this reverse, like you have done nothing to promote yourself for better. I cannot. I look. I'm. I would be sitting up here, eating in a bed and a loser. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. It's just nostalgia. I'll idolize in the past. Fear you've made a mistake. So, like this person could literally just be sitting around, laying around, getting high. Looking back at like, cause this is like an investigation part. Hold on, you guys. I need to put my um. I need to charge this up before it goes dead. Um, like the this card right here, the page of swords is like someone continuously looking back into the past, getting high, just thinking about. The mistakes that they made. You know what I'm saying? So this person could be. And then you got the king of cups in the reverse too. So this could be someone in some type, some type of emotional depression or something like that. They might hate, have some regrets of being immature. Not being. Like I really. I, and then it's like nostalgia. I feel like the same thing is happening again. I don't know if this person is getting put out again. uh, Because they refuse to work and just sitting around and getting high and don't want to do shit with their self it's just like you I'm nostalgia I feel like nostalgia is I mean yeah that is chasing the past it's like someone's chasing a ghost or something of a ship that sailed bad experiences it's like you just keep Mm. It's like you won't move on. You stuck in the past, just sitting back, just soaking in your sorrows and in your wounds and stuff, and not picking yourself up and doing anything. Let me read this. Okay, the number sixteen. It says. Okay. It says second guessing your de um, decisions, betraying yourself for choices you have made. Or berating yourself for choices that you made. Feeling regret and missing what was nostalgia living in the past. A focus on what is going wrong or what could still be going wrong. It says, um, would we make life changes and take larger steps into the unknown? It is perfectly natural to have a moment or two where we wonder whether we have made a series of mistakes. When this card comes to you, it shines the lights on doubts that you're having and that you're asking and that you're having to accept these uncertainties as part of the process has changed. You are so very far away from where you once were, but you still have no clear idea of what path you are on and where it will take you. And you are filled with uncertainty. Instead of allowing dread to fill your mind, live as if life is a great adventure. Understand that as you change, there will be many ups and downs. Um, it will, make, will be many ups and downs. It is not in your best interest to judge yourself harshly. Instead, anchor yourself firmly in the present moment and allow any regret of nostalgia for your comfortable past to wash over you. Let it flow by. You are on a remarkable journey of change. It is one that will lead you to wisdom and experiences and adventure. You have made a wonderful choice. So take the heart knowing that all changes create waves and disruptions. Do not make more of your misgivings than what they are. They are natural consequences of bravely stepping outside of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? So listen, it might have been something that happened that you may have regretted. Whatever it is, it's like you can't just sit back soaking in your... Again, that's that's why the King of Cups came out in the reverse. Like, this person is not um, emotionally mature, you know? Um, not taking care of their self, you know? Um, very moody. Could be egotistical. It's just like everything that you say to this person could be triggering. They feel like you're trying to... Um, Everything could be an argument or uh, it's just this person is not in a good place when they're sober and they're only probably in a good place when they're fucking high because they stuck and stupid and can't respond to shit any damn way. So I just feel like when this person is sober, they are 
constantly in the moments of regret and they may need to stop um, either thinking back or looking into the past and they need to cut themselves loose and go forward because I feel like whoever they're staying, someone's cutting them out of their house and they want them to go. They want them to spread their wings. That's why these wings are tattooed on this person's arm. And this rake is like you being raked up and kicked out. I'm so serious. What is this? The fourth, uh, the fourth fi fire. Okay, so this is like, this is like a marriage ceremony or thoughts of reconciliation. I mean, cause like the four, the four bonds is like. This person could be thinking over and over about, like, their old home, their marriage, like, wanting to reconcile, wanting to get things back together, like you said, nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? Or this person is in constant thoughts and hopes of home, like, being comfortable. Like, I feel like this person wants to go home, <laughs> you know, this person wants to go home. And it says, keep your temper Ooh, don't allow anger to rule you. Ooh, Taurus. Ooh, Taurus. This is violence. This is like... Is this why you... The Queen of Swords. I'm trying to tell you. I feel like you get cut out again. But it's by somewhere else. Like this is by someone else. This is like a man's arm. Like this is like a man's arm telling you to go away. Doesn't this look like a masculine arm? I don't think a woman's arm would have uh, tattoos on it like that. Um, it could be a man, or I don't know, like, I feel like it's like someone came in someone's house, because like the four of wands, I still look at that like, that's someone's house, that's someone's home or something, and it's like you're not keeping your temper and you're causing disruptions or something like that. You're not keeping your temper. Um, you're not working. You're just lounging around. And again, I said you 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 cause like a disruption. And it's like you're not even emotionally mature and balanced enough to see the type of confusion. You know what I'm saying? Like you're coming in this woman's house causing a fucking mess. Like, you know? And that's why she's made the decision to like, you gotta go and. Uh, it's like, you gotta go. And when this comes down, I feel like you need to keep your temper about it. Because I want to say, you have, a, you have a thing about. I want to say you have a temper and an anger problem. And that's why. I feel like you possibly may be kept away from the other home. I want to say someone experienced some type of violence. Because look, it was some type of violence. And it was because of some, I, I feel like because someone's being confronted about them not doing anything with their self. Like this woman is telling the truth. It's like, listen. I'm, I'm trying my best to help you and stuff like that, but you're not trying to help yourself, so you got to go. And I feel like because you are being thrown off guard and you don't know where you're going to go and you don't know how you're going to take care of yourself because you're not confident. If you were confident, you wouldn't be sitting around spending all your money getting high. You would have actually went. Like this person is doing everything to defeat their self against getting their self together. You know what I'm saying? And then get mad because people don't want to let them sit around and lounge around and just be shit in their presence. You're not going to be shit in my presence. Listen to Five of Hearts. Old, ti old Tiger Lily, I wish you could talk. So this is like someone that this represents like the divine feminine. So... Oh, Tiger Lily, I wish you could talk. I feel like with them saying that, it's like, 
I'm, I don't know why I'm getting two senses of homes. I don't know if this is two different homes. I, I, I'm feeling like that because of this person's arm. I don't know, unless it's a woman that got a lot of masculine tattoos, or if this is like a masculine, is it this like, because that look like, anyway, let me let it go. Oh, Tiger Lily, I wish you could talk so, but you see like how she looks frightened? She looks frightened, y'all. And that's why I'm like the 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 four of wands represents a uh, someone like coming around. I it's like I just I don't know why I feel like it's like someone showing up to someone's home, you know, like unannounced, trying to talk to this woman and she's frightened because she thinks that this person may be high again. You know what I'm saying? It's like. What are you, why are you here? Like, I already sent you away. Like, you, you can't keep coming back here. Like, I, like I already sent you away. And you can't keep coming back here. And, and, cause, it's like, the Coriandre air is premature communication. It's like, you keep trying to talk to me before you done fixed yourself and got yourself together. You know what I'm saying? I know that you feeling regret and all this nostalgia and shit but you keep coming to talk to me and you still getting high you know what I'm saying like you still you still haven't got yourself together do you understand what I'm saying and that's why I'm saying like this person I don't feel like they understand that and they not keeping it and then it's like you getting high and then you got a bad temper and you doing drugs too no and you don't have nothing to bring. You don't have no job. You don't have no stability. You just emotionally, like this person might need to go see a psychologist or something because it's just like they're not, no. And I feel like this woman is scared of this person and their temper. And like, they're like, mmm. Taurus, like I really hope y'all, oh, God, Taurus, I don't like this. I wanted anything but this, y'all. Look, the, keep your temper in the reverse. It says unleashing, saying whatever you wish, lashing out, expressing anger and frustration, heated conversations, an unwillingness to remain calm, believing aggression will create a breakthrough, feeling entitled to express emotions without a thought of consequences. So it's like this person may feel like by being volatile or something that they'll be able to stay around because you'd be too scared to put them out in fear of repercussions of their anger and she's like bitch not today i will cut your fucking ass today come over here with this high dumb trippy goofy ass shit the fuck today i'm trying to tell you listen because it's like you don't came and fucked up somebody house before or you did something and it's like because even look at his face, like, yeah, you, like, the fuck gonna tell me I can't hang around and, 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 mm -mm. I don't like this shit, Mo. I don't like this shit. No, you do need to get out. You need to get out. And it's, ugh, bruh, like, oh my God, let me just flip all this shit over, man. And then again, look at this motherfucker spying. The hot air of air, catnip. Like, high, nigga, you high as fuck. Hey, yo, don't peep, yo. Don't fucking cats get high on catnip, nigga. Don't, look. The cat higher than a bitch. The cat higher than a bitch. Look at the cat. Look at the cat, my nigga. Hey, don't cats get high on cat, bitch. You not gonna play with me right now. You are sure not about to fucking play with me right now. Don't, don't, don't cats get high on catnip, y'all. Don't it make them feel high and shit and floaty and dopey? Bitch, bitch, no. And they say, I speak, I speak English. Doesn't I, or are you deaf? And this was in the reverse, so like, this is the three of clubs. So, the three of clubs is like, you need, and then listen to how he talking to people. I speak English, doesn't I? 
Or are you deaf? Like, who the fuck are you talking to? Yeah, you rude as fuck. Like, you rude and arrogant as fuck. Like, this is, like, with this being in the reverse, this is someone that it's like, you might have tried to get them help before. I, th I still feel like they are choosing to be fucking high. Like, they choose, they are choosing this lifestyle. They are choosing this. Look, high right here, high right here. Look, hump upside down, drinking, may have a drinking problem too. Just want to hang around, drink, smoke, get high. Like, think about old, fucked up, traumatic shit. They all emotional. Like, this person needs, like, some, uh, some, some help. Like, they, they don't want help, though. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is someone rejecting counseling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, this is, like, People are trying to, cause with the Hiaya Air, like the, I believe the Hiaya Air. Let me just make sure that I'm. Wait, that's it. No, no, no. Okay, Hiaya. Adelia is a knight. Hiaya is a page. Wait, so the coriander is what? The Hiaya are pages. The adult. Bitch, I can't speak Spanish. The Madre. No, this is the the the, the Coriander. That's 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 the father. I told you. That's the king of it. That's this, this is the king of fucking swords. This is the king of swords. I'm trying to tell you, this is the king of swords telling someone to get the fuck out. This is someone's father, yeah. I told you this is a man, yeah. That's a man telling us that this is someone's son. You got to go, young. You got to get the fuck, mo. You got to get the fuck. I was reading this in the wrong way, but I'm, I'm still. it still came up over here. It's like, son, you just want to lay around and, and get high all day. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is not, I'm not raising no lazy ass Fuck nigga, like I'm not, that's not, you not about to lay around in my fucking house and just like, like kiss your wounds and, 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 and nurse your wounds because some bitch broke up with you, man. Like get the fuck out of here. Like you gotta go, my nigga. I don't know, like, I don't know if this person caught you laying in the yard high or drunk or some shit. Like they were going out there to go pick something, <laughs> pick, pick some herbs or something out of the, 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 the garden and shit, you drunk high in the garden and shit, you were supposed to be going to counseling, you not going to counseling, you know what I'm saying, it's like you not getting the help that you need and then you be getting smart and angry and disrespectful with people, you gotta get the fuck mo, like he's telling you get the fuck and she telling you to get the fuck, so I don't know if like this is your father and his wife or if this is your father telling you get out and then your baby mother told you you can't stay here neither but everybody is like you gotta fucking go because you don't want to fucking straighten up and stop fucking your life up yeah i'm not yeah i'm so serious about it let me let me clarify real quick bruh i'm not even about to do this young because this like this my look the three of pentacles the three of clubs my bad Practical developments in business and social matters. Like I'm trying to tell you, they possibly were waiting for you to pick yourself up. But with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, you weren't doing nothing but laying around, hanging around, and drinking whatever substance, whatever this is. Because you see this person is doing some type of substance. It's like some type of substance abuse. Ever you drink too much and you get high too much, I want to say it's both. Only thing you do is lay around, complain about old shit. You know what I'm saying? Give excuses for why you can't do shit. No. And then you, no. It says expansion and opportunities and growth and advancement. The use of common sense and good judgment. A developing business enterprise. Uh, or a three-way partnership deal. Like, these people could have been trying to help you make practical developments. And, and you just want to lay around and get high and get mad at motherfuckers. This is in the reverse. So that means you're not doing any of that. You're not using common sense. Okay? 
it says um a business collaboration of three or more people, a clover leaf, a good luck for, and fortune and circumstance from something growing, plants, hair, your nails, increase of understanding, expanding one's knowledge um, based by learning new things. It could represent both formal and self um, training. Like you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if anything, you might just be trying to find new locations to go hide and, and, and get high in peace. Like, that's about it. And it's like, they still find you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they you still getting caught. I feel like this is someone still getting caught, getting high. You're not doing anything with your life. Any fucking thing. And this person is using all these excuses of bullshit in the past. And this person left me and I had a home and I had... Then you had it. You don't have it now. Only thing you're doing is sitting around getting fucking high. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like your father saying, get the fuck out of here. You gotta go. It says, manage to be glad. You are too busy living in moments of regret. Drinking and smoking your life away. Making enemies out of everybody that care about you because you don't want to get yourself together. Having a fucked up attitude because you can't manage to look at how blessed you are and to be glad and focus on what you do have instead of focusing on what you don't have anymore and living your life in fucking regret. This is like someone that was the high school football um, uh, uh, championship winner or something and they just want to keep talking. Well, when I was in high school, bitch, you a fucking 40 year old fucking man. Like, why the fuck you keep reliving your old days or your highlights when you was the the, the, uh, the best football player on the football, on the varsity football team? Don't nobody give a fuck about that. Get over it. Create new experiences in your life. Like, you have so much. At least you got family that is trying to help you. You not even being appreciative of that shit. Like, you're being aggressive and angry. Like, with it, with people are fucking scared to be around you. You're trying to force people to talk to you. And like, like and, and I feel like whoever this woman is in the past, of whoever this is, like, okay. The five of hearts. This is a feminine energy. Look, old tiger, literally, I wish you could talk. She looks scared. You have a history of being physically violent. Okay? This says the right hand or the right side. Doing the right thing. Being right. Being truthful, fair, just, desire, the opportunity, a proposal which bring happiness and success. Satisfaction to one's desires. To fulfill a dream. Okay, this is the feminine energy, women's thoughts, freely things, knitting someone, a, a girly, a, fem, a female sexuality, intimacy, tenderness, holding hands, physical displays of affection. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is, like I said, I feel like this is thoughts of some marriage or something. Someone that you were married to, someone that you were in a commitment with, someone that was home to this person. I feel like that's what this person is lost and they living in ongoing regret of this situation. It just says create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. Like regardless of what your situation is right now. Like can you focus on trying to create something better in your life instead of sitting there wasting it, getting fucking high. Like I really don't want you to ruin oh, whoever this man, whoever you are baby. I don't want you to ruin your life because everyone is about to turn against you and you don't see that. Because your father and his wife or your father and your baby mother, whoever the fuck, it's like everybody is throwing a sword up to you. Get out. Everyone is throwing a sword to you. Get out. Get out. You too high to apply to any jobs. You're not doing anything that benefits yourself or us. Get out. The four of wands. Again, like this person is focused on reconnecting. Um, I, I want like this person just wants to be married. Wants to be in a commitment. Wants a stable house. Wants a stable home. Like 
That's what this person, you got the four of wands twice. You know, it's like this person is just right here, but this person wants to go back to this home. Like they might have had a nice, big, fancy house, a comfortable, stable environment and stable living. I even feel like where they're at right now with their father's house or whoever the fuck house they at right now. Because it looks like there's somebody in their father's house. Um... Your father really just wants you to try to get a job and try to pull yourself up and get yourself together. Like, please try to, like, please. It's like a God. He's like, he got me begging you for him. It's like, he don't mind you staying here. But just a mat, just, just try to manage to be glad and be happy and create your own happiness to try to pull yourself together so that you can go back home eventually. Once you get counseling and you stop getting high and you stop stalking this person, it's like I feel like, I don't want to say someone stalking someone, but I do feel like there is someone that is aggressively trying to, she's scared of you. I really, I feel that she's scared of you. Like you, I don't know if you used to beat this woman or something, but she's scared of you. You got everyone pulling swords up at you, my nigga. You got everyone pulling swords up at you. Like, you must be a very aggressive, violent type of person. Where people feel like they have to be... Ugh. You got the moon. So again, like, these are like... I feel like I'm exposing someone's fucking secrets right here. It's like you up to know. It's like for real, for real. Well, who the fuck is this friend? It's like you got some like little ally or something that you be doing shit with. Some other nigga that you be doing some shit with. Y'all two like freaking frack. Y'all be hand in hand with each other. And it's like. I'm telling whoever you are, you need to stop hanging. Up. Whoever this person is. You need to stop hanging around with this person. You and this person be up to no fucking good. And I don't know if this is like a flock of women or a flock of innocent people that have no idea what they be getting into when they get mixed up with you or with this guy. I feel like it's it's a whole bunch of little individuals that, listen, the little oysters, they had no idea that they asked was about to get eaten alive, right? And the carpenter and that walrus convinced them to come out of their safe haven and to follow them somewhere and then they ate them. I don't know, cause you see you see you see the crab, you see that you see that lobster, it's like screaming, like do not follow them. Like it's like, you know, the the the, the wolves are hollering at the moon, like yo, these are bad people. Do not yo. What is this? The high priestess. Listen. I'm trying to tell you like some secrets are coming out. Like there is some hidden shit here. And I think that this, I don't know if this is the drug use. I don't know if this is the partner. Like they be getting high and like. Who this woman knows this, whoever this high priestess is, she sees straight through your fucking ass. She knows about. All of this shit. And I'm not even about to hold you. I feel like these two dudes be having sex with each other. And all, I ain't even about to fuck hold you. I really do. They too close to each other for me. They too close to each other for me. And I don't know if like all these other people are like their victims and shit. Like a people that they just be using and something like that. And like somehow priestess has came and like it's like you you put yourself off like an innocent person but in the mirror and you you completely someone else it's like mm -mm. what is this the knight of swords in the reverse 
I want to say that this high priestess is very intuitive and I want to say from the day that she met you, she could have, I don't know if she's seen you hanging out with this friend and she just, it's, it's something, something in her said, mm, mm. my intuition is calling to me and saying something ain't normal with these two. Some ain't normal about their relationship. And regardless of what she may seem to these individuals on the outside, she's something that they don't know that she is. I really want to say this. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. I feel like this person met a woman that is something more than what meets the eye. And she sees right through these two individuals all of this shit like all of this shit she sees all of this shit Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall this man is experiencing his karma from things that had happened far before her I feel like there's a few people that fell victim to this man and his friend and whatever the fuck they be doing to manipulate people or you know what I'm saying it's like um they be intentionally trying to maneuver and get people to come out of their safe layer so that they can devour them you know what I'm saying and it's like they think it's funny or something and it's like yeah you fucking with the wrong one cuz I may look like a little girl I may look like this naive, just little princess that you could just come through and you thought you was going to do, oh, bitch, no, 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 no. You better look a little bit deeper, baby. I'm way more than what meets the eye, motherfucker, and I see you. You better see me, bitch. I am so serious about it. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Yeah, you can go ahead and tell me them, look, them false lies, them fairy tales, and them fallacies, but I see exactly who you are and what's going on with you because I can see what is going on around you in your life because if you because you getting put out from here you getting put out from here all of this shit like I like even like this person gays like I can tell that you're high I can tell a drug addict when I see one you understand what I'm saying like no your father don't want to fuck with you. Your baby mama don't want to fuck with you. Your mother or your stepmother don't fuck with you. Like, I'm not dumb. Every time I'm talking to you, it's like your communication is a little fuzzy or something. Like, you be seeming like either you drunk or you high. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you at that end, like, you not working. You not trying to advance yourself in life. Like, you, like, uh-uh. She see you for what you are. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you this is someone with substance abuse issues. I'm trying to fucking tell you this person is an alcoholic and a drug addict. Yeah? I'm trying to tell you it is a fucking liar and a manipulator. Bruh. And it's a grown ass man. And he be hanging with another grown ass man and be on the same fucking shit. Yeah? I'm trying to tell you. And they might be fucking yeah. The Emperor. Woo! And what is this? The Seven of Cups. Yo. This person is like... You see how the Emperor, you see how he's standing there? He got all these little bird bitches at his beck and call. He trying to figure out which one he want to give his seed to. You see the Seven of Cups, he got all of these options and things like that. So... Again, like this is someone that is over full. And I can't stress it enough that this person be on drugs and alcohol. And I don't even feel like this is like just no weed, bitch. This is serious drugs. Do you understand? This is heavy. Heavy. Why you think this person ain't got no money? Why you think this person attitude is so volatile all the time? If you not high, if you used to being high all of the time. And it's like, it's some secrets as to why this person be getting high. I'm trying to tell you this nigga gay, yeah? Him and this motherfucker dude right here. This person be drinking and doing... Why else with the king of cups? Come on, bruh. What you hiding? 
What you hiding that much with your emotions is that fucked up? It can't like come on, bruh. And what's your what's your relationship with this dude right here? What is your relationship? Come on, bruh. The moon, the high priestess, the king of swords in reverse, the nine of cups, the emperor, like no, bruh. I feel like this emperor, like whoever this dude is right here, Mo, this dude be teaching him how to create a flock of birds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like as long as you got birds, you always got options. You know, you can take care of yourself as long as you keep some little birds around you. You stay in control. You know what I'm saying? Like, use your aggressiveness. People don't ask you questions and stuff like that. Me and you good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna know about our secret what we doing. You just keep a lot of bitches around you. Keep a lot. Ain't nobody ever gonna suspect shit. And we gonna use these bitches. Yeah. I'm sorry, because I don't know who the hell am. I'm sorry, but you came to the wrong girl's page. Because, honey, I see all of that shit. And if I see it, I am going to tell. I'm dead ass serious. She see all of it. All of it. All of it. You understand? So at the end of the day, we not we, we not playing no keep no secrets, cause we not playing no keep no secrets. We not playing no keep no secrets, bitch. Because you 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 that that shit might fly with them, but that shit don't fly with me. Don't be trying to bring that shit into my home, motherfucker. This ain't no rest haven for hoes, drunk hoes, high hoes, confused hoes. Sorry, but sorry about it, cause you see how it's like. Look, laying there with all the pussy. Like I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh, it's like this one is sitting there parlaying and celebrating and gallivanting with all these different females trying to figure out which one is going to get them to the big house. And that's the bottom line. Bottom line. Like these bitches may, may keep him high too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It may give him like... The, the alcohol portion. And this person may go off and get the drug portion on his own. I don't know. But it's like. Hang and gallivant with these bitches. Because you know. They, 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 there's going to be drinks. There's going to be a party. There's going to be celebration. Like they're going to allow me in their home. I'm trying to tell you this is a man that. I feel like he lives a double lifestyle. Like. I really feel like this man leaves a double lifestyle. Like he keeps a lot of pussy around him so people won't su suspect that he's bisexual. I don't think that he's gay. I think that he's definitely bisexual. This person used women for home security and stability. Like I feel like there is one woman that he really loved and he regrets his lifestyle. I don't know if he was doing the gay shit too. I don't know. It, it was this friend around the whole time. Whoever this friend is, like, it leads this person into trouble. And I I don't, like, I don't like none of this shit, bruh. I'm so serious about this. Honey, bunches of oats. Honey, bunches of oats. Um, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I want I want to get some more cards, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go here. Cuz this this deck right here be going rickety raw on it. I swear. Mm, mm, mm. Any questions and remarks, Father God, please. Any closing remarks, Father God? With Taurus, anybody dealing with Taurus? Look, falseness. I'm trying to tell y'all to all these girls that this person, whoever is one of the little pussy cats that they be it's a falseness. This person, I'm trying to tell you this man don't like pussy. Period. And that's why this person probably be drinking and smoking and 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 and, and could because it's like they trying to hide their true sexuality and all of this stuff. Like if you was living a lie, y'all I'd be getting high too. Shit. What is it saying? A journey in the reverse. So, like, whoever these women are that be thinking that this man gonna come to you and a, you, he's gonna pick you and pick your house. Like, 
yeah, maybe. Like, if... <laughs> I don't know, because this person got too many other options. You know what I'm saying? The doctor. Oh, my God, girl. You got the doctor. You got a young woman. And then you got misfortune. Oh, honey, child. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Listen to me. Y'all... I feel like this young woman, whoever this woman is, I feel like she, he scares her. He scares her. Like, number one, I feel like, please go to the doctor. If you're a young woman, it may be a fire down there that you can't put out. You understand? I'm serious. Like, this, this, this person, listen, whoever this woman is, whoever these women are, and I'm trying to... What more do you want me to say? Ooh, now I'm hearing, what more can I say? Mm, mm, mm. You made me this way. Hey, is it in that song? They're blaming each other. Um, say I'm tripping bullshit, but you the one that put me through shit. And you're the reason I'm, uh, hold on, it's feeling uh, stupid. I was in your corner while you were putting me through shit. And now you wanna leave. No, you leaving me. It's stupid. You left me with scars on my heart. And I, and I don't know the word. Hold on, I don't know the words. How nice of you, the price of true love. Hey. But true love is absolute. Hey, but what more can I say? Boom, boom, boom. You make me this way. I'm serious. And then it's like, when a girl starts singing her part, it's like, nigga, you blaming me for shit, but you, you the reason why I fucking went on you this way. Because I'm serious. It's like, this person is in complete denial. I really want to say that this person needs to go see a psychologist. Like, seriously. I feel like this person has emotional issues. They have insecurity issues. They have sexuality issues that they need to talk to someone about. And I really think that's why they drink and drugs. I feel like they're not living the lifestyle that they want to live. I feel like the person that they were with, they destroyed that relationship. Like, they really destroyed that relationship. I'm hoping that this person... That he destroyed the relationship. I hope that he didn't send her to the doctor. I'm, I'm, I feel like the only thing that she experienced was physical abuse. But at this point where he's at now, rocking out like this, with all of this, and hanging out with this, and doing all of this shit, that's why the you see the crab or the lobster is screaming at them other girls like, don't go with these two like evil one of them. Whoever is dating evil one of them, because I swear these two. Be doing a lot. Be doing a lot with each other and a lot with a whole bunch of other people, bruh. I'm so serious about it, young. I'm so serious about it. I am so serious about it. The moon in the high priestess. Like, these motherfuckers is hiding some shit big time. The, the king of swords in reverse. This motherfucker is a liar, manipulator. Just with what? And the King of Swords in Reverse is a volatile person. Like, this person is physically violent with people. They control people and make people not want to kick them away because they're scared that they may physically lash out and hurt them. You understand? This person does not care about any of these women. You understand? He doesn't care about any of these women at all. You understand? Like... I feel like the only woman that this person would go to is her and she doesn't want him because she's scared of him. And at this point, this person is so far gone in all of this. Whoever these whoever these other women are, listen, whoever these these other women, whoever these women are that keep giving to him in hopes that he gonna Come home with him. Y'all watch yourself because I feel like if y'all can, these young women that they fucking with, 
I feel like the young women are loose. He's loose. And all of y'all going to end up at the doctor. All of y'all going to end up at the doctor. And I feel like this person is being put out from here, put out from there. So this person may be going, bouncing around in between homes. Like I said, this person has a lot of options. Listen, this person, look, they know how they play their game. This motherfucker got a lot of options. And look, the high priestesses. A lot of mistresses. You know what I'm saying? A lot of options. Look. So that is keeping this person emotionally fulfilled and feeling in control at this point. As long as this person has birds at their beck and call. Y'all, I'm gone. I'm gone. Because this is nasty and this is disgusting. And I'm done. Whoever's dealing with this person, you need to fucking run for your goddamn life. Because I ain't about to let nobody abuse me, use me. And send me to the doctor. Like, this is someone that you're physically abusive. You you have stalker ten tendencies, too. You're a drug addict. You're an alcoholic. This is, this is, this is, this is, and, and, and I don't think these women have any idea. Like, this person could, could come. This person seems like there's something that they're totally not. Like, this person is not an emperor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, in the sense of them being uh, controlling and aggressive and, you know what I'm saying, may seem like a good father and all of this stuff to their children and all that. But behind this, honey, is seek. It's far deeper than what you could ever the fuck imagine. I'm done, bitch. I'm I'm done. Bye.